Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Biomorph. Last time we left off, we... I don't remember because it was uh, more than a day ago and my memory is poo. Um, I do know, I'm pretty sure we're still continuing. Yeah, so there's like a single thing there, a single thing here, but we've pretty much cleared this area out. We just need to go up, basically. So, there's a few different areas we can go and check out. I might try to go check a bunch of them out today. Like, there's there's this area, which I don't have the fast travel point to. Um, there's this area, which I, I do have. But we're running out of, like, actual places to go at this point, basically. So, uh, yeah. How do we actually, because it looks like the core actually leads to whatever this is. Unless this room does. This room might lead to it. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh, get a little bit of, um, exploration done, why don't we? Cat? Ah. Cat. There you are. You were inside of a wall. How unfortunate, Leo. The devil in disguise. This fluffy scargato is aloof and independent during the day, but can't stand sleeping alone at night. Pets and cuddles are on a strict if I feel like it rule. Yeah, that's fine. Repe respect Leo's boundaries. Alright, let's get rid of these two things and continue. I can also go turn in this quest over here with Sid. Alright, Sid. I'm here. Here you go. Went to the bad, Lance. Good for you. Activated your faulty pump. Grats. Uh, if that's all, then I'll be on my way. Wait, I was messing with you, pal. I'm truly grateful. Here, I have this. Here's a pretty useful thing to have. Ooh, that is useful. Thank you. I'm all out of conversation juice, and this stick requires my undivided attention. Okay. Alright, this should be something. Ooh, I don't know if I can do anything about that, uh... I don't know if I can do anything about the fan, though. I still don't have whatever ability we need to get up the fans. Strange vase made with an unknown metal and an unknown technique. There's something inside. Uh, pay it forward? Oh. Apparently I needed this for pay it forward. That, that is like the trade quest thing that's currently going on. God, look at how few side quests we have now. That's exciting. So that's one of the things I needed to do over here, but there's actually quite a few things in this room. Not all of them I know what to do with. So, I did put this up here on the off chance this actually leads to something. It does not. Okay. So, looks like all that we need to do over here then is get up there. And that's pretty much everything in this room. And there's a little something extra in this room. Yeah, and then I've just got to find out, you know, where we're actually going. There is this space right here. I guess I can go down in here. So yeah, and there's also this. So let's work our way back to the Forbidden Plains. And now that we've done some stuff over there, we should have new, uh, new content to do. But <clears throat> before I do that, this gets me up here to some raw materials. Nothing too wild. Oh, okay. Here's the item I was missing in this room, I guess. Yeah, okay, so it was like down here at the bottom part of the map. I also activated this in Mezzo Skyway as a fast travel point because I have 11 of these things. Also, uh, there are two abilities we still need to get that I have not gotten. Um, it looks like there might be an area around here. I've mostly just been going towards the, you know, these things. But, uh, clearly there's like an ability or something we've missed somewhere, because I need the ability to get rid of these little barriers. And I also need wh whatever it is I need to, uh, fly in the, uh, fans. And I don't think that's tied to an ability I already have, like a creature I already have, that I'm forgetting. I don't- I don't think it is, maybe. Alright, we're back to this utterly massive room. And we'll see if we can do anything else here now. We still need to make it to this. Um, and I think I can do something with this now, maybe? I don't even quite remember what I had this set up to mean. 
But, uh, at the very least, I can activate more of these so we have a better time traversing this place. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. I think I can just straight up get up here right now with my, uh, with my dashes and stuff. Absolutely can. Okay, so we're, we're up here. This leads me to a thing. Ow. Okay, this is gonna require some doing. Because I gotta shoot out this way, dash into you. Then shoot into you. Yeah, I guess I never came back over here after getting the goop ability, did I? Yeah, I guess I never did. Um, cool. So this is one area we can go and mess around in. I think that's what I, that's what I set white up to mean, was goop. I think it was goop. So now that we've done that, I can get back over here. Platforming on you dorks is a little bit odd, but uh, <clears throat> we can do it. So let's get up here, up here. And then yeah, all we need is power lines. And I can see what's going on over in this area. Also, if you're wondering, the little uh, memento that I have on that makes my dash do damage, <clears throat> it is a paltry 20 damage. I mean, it's not insignificant, but I don't feel like it's helpful enough to continue using that one, so I'll probably swap off of it when we get the opportunity. I need to get back to the pig. Um, I need my pig friend back. Hi? Oh, you barely moved away from me. That is very rude of you. Okay. Come back over here, please. There we go. Alright. Now with you... I suppose there's anything to do up there. No. Okay, so let's just ride this. God, this whole area is quite crazy. I really like it, though. <clears throat> it's a neat one to traverse and everything because of that. Uh, okay, this allows me to do this. Ow. Didn't even see that lightning bolt. A little, well, not lightning bolt. Ball lightning. Uh, okay. And this brings me up here. Can I do anything over here? It doesn't look like it. Can I even get over there? No. Okay, well, where's the secret stuff hidden in this room? <clears throat> I feel like that's going to be a nightmare to find. Just because there's not a lot of options for places to look. Weird. Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's a very clear path you take. Here, here, here. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> I do not know what I'm missing in that room. And I've already done enough run running around, so here we go. And this is how we get to you. This is how we get to you, and probably how we get to that new area as well. Dustboro. I mean, that happens in Metroidvania sometimes. You're like, huh, I think I'm running out of places to go. And then it turns out it's just one singular path you never fully went down or went back to. It was like one single room. And that ended up opening up to an entire area. I remember that happened to me the first time I played Hollow Knight. <clears throat> I was stuck. I forget which part I was stuck at. But I was like, I don't know where to go. And I was just walking around trying to figure it out. And there was like one single door that I had missed and not noticed. Wait, can I not hurt you? I think those are invincible. <laughs> I think they <coughs> are. Oh my god. Why am I coughing? Ah, I hope I'm not coming down with something again. I only just got over something not long ago. Yeah, so these aren't even damageable. Which is very, very odd to me. Huh. The craziest. Okay. Ooh, it is a breakable wall. Yay. What do you got for me? Oh, just water. Okay. Well, there we go. So we've, we've found... Uh oh. Okay, well, I knew you were coming out. Uh-huh. There you go. That's a lot of plaques I just grabbed. And that is everything in this room. Cool. Apparently we found the vault for this area. It looks like some sort of castle, so... 
All right, Alta here. This way. So yeah, we're getting close to uh, Zion in Dustboro. Ow! Well, that's just rude. Drake Dust Sharpshooter. Oh my god. I don't like this. What? We just get a sniper? Oh my god. Well, you seem cool. Oh, you make an obnoxious sound when you're jumping up walls because of your, like, little gauntleted boots. Oh my god, this <laughs> seems like a very good biomorph. First biomorph I would maybe actually use in a boss fight? Well, besides the ones, the boss fights where you get in where it's like, it's clear that they want you to use a very specific thing, of course. But 62 damage and the shots are incredibly long range because it's a sniper? Hmm. Tempting. Oh, really? Called it. Give me that. More raw materials. I got plenty of those. I think I have more than I'm possibly ever going to need. Oh, and the turrets don't shoot me as long as I'm one of these dorks. Ow. That's not fair. You can shoot me through the ground. I can't do that. Ow. Ow. Okay, you know. Oh my god, they're annoying. Okay, let's just go ahead and pop both of our heals here and worry about you. Yeah, the fact that they can shoot me through the ground is rough. I can't do that. Can I get in these things like they can? No, can't get in the little bunkers. Okay, but at least I know this allows me to be safe. This is probably where I get the disability, right? If I had to guess. This is probably where it comes from. Seeing as there's a ton of them around here. Just need to get that thing that cleanses walls then. What are you doing out here? You part of the Drake Dust Regiment? I don't even know what that is, so... no? I get as much. Every member of the regiment wears their damn uniform to proudly display their allegiance. This is no place to talk. We should retreat to the home base. Home's in the middle of this battlefield? Our home is the battlefield. Dustboro is under control of the Drake Dust Regiment. The regiment was the city's military force when the Corps shut down. Nobody around to call the shots. They took advantage of the power vacuum and seized control. Life in our beautiful city has really gone downhill- has only gone downhill since their rise to power. Again, this is no place to talk. Come inside quickly. Alright. Yep, now we get to make it to, uh, uh, the other town that has been hinted at. Which is apparently really, really close to the core in, uh, physical space. So, that's interesting. Also, I didn't put what was actually required here. What do I want fans to be? Orange? Orange for fan. Sure. I heard a cat. I heard a cat. Welcome to District Zero. May not look like much, but it's what we call home. See, so I take you're not a fan of the way this Drake Dust Regimen manages things? It's an understatement. Drake Dust Regimen has no respect for us District Zero citizens or any life outside their town, really. They abduct innocent civilians and force them to work in the Fornax storage, the only place with a fine Ferox left on Elias. Get this, the air in the storage is toxic. They don't share their breathing masks with the lowly citizens. So we work ourselves to death while Drake Dust officers live the good life. They never have to wonder where their next meal comes from, or if they have enough power to left to keep the lights on. Oh, is that why you're fighting them? Yeah, pretty much. We don't fight for power, we fight to reclaim the right to live our lives. Nothing more, nothing less. Say, you seem like the stealthy type. Think you can sneak around District 1 and help us sabotage the artillery cannon? Drakto's regiment has tried to kill me on my way here, so they're no friend of mine. What's in it for me? Fight the good fight? And keep whatever your loot you... Uh, you whatever you can loot as we make our way to District 5 at the very top. The control beacon is located high in this city. We'll likely have to go through District 5 to reach it. Hmm. Well, I've got a good look at you. I knew something felt familiar. Your head's shaped like that weird machine we have atop our district. No idea how it got there. Sure is... It sure is not the Dustborovian engineering. You want to see it? Just go left to the next part of town, then up from there. Man, that's a lot to take in. Okay, baby steps. Weird machine first? Yeah, weird machine first. Alright. Weird machine is the left up here. It's artillery cannon. It's in District 1. You'll find that to the east. It's a layer above, though. Hope you like climbing. Okay. 
Well, yeah, we got quite a few things to check in on over here. Definitely gonna upgrade you. <clears throat> Hopefully there's some more shops and stuff here. Um, and I only have three biomorphs left to get. One of them being the one that I'm already on my way to getting. So this might be like the last area that has a bunch of biomorphs for me to grab. Okay, I know I heard cat. That must be it right there. Yeah, okay, there's so there's there's fans in here. Uh, let's put a orange marker down for fan. Alright, and this is probably the area we get that. It's probably like some glider wings or something. If I had to guess. A glider makes sense. Hello. Hey Zion, Sadel wanted me to give you this diary. Oh, thanks. Those are my notes on Dusperovian anatomy. Sadel was reviewing it to make sure there were no glaring mistakes. Very nice of you to bring this back to me, but why do you have this? Investigating what happened to Istar. I'd like to help Scipio and Busco. I see. Truly a tragedy what happened to this family. Losing someone so suddenly is always a tremendous shock. Last time I saw Istar, uh, she was on her way to dig up some old artifacts with a friend of mine, Levy. Istar and Levy found some mysterious vase. Levy gave it to Ruby, which in turn gave it to me for safekeeping. Way too many people I don't know nor care about. What's next? When do we punch something? A lot of people and I don't have anything to take notes. What should I do now? Simple version is this. Get the vase from my safe spot in Mezzo. I already got it. Simple. I like that. Here, if this is the vase you were looking for. It's really odd looking. It really is. I have absolutely no idea who created this. No, civiliz no civilization on Helios, at least I know of, made that kind of art. Well, this is cool that I just grabbed it before we, uh... Before we <laughs> even needed it. Oh, excuse me, I'll take the medicine I stashed inside. Oh. They don't need the vase? No, I do not. I needed what was inside to tend to the rebels here. You did ask for the simple version. It's true. So what do I do with the vase? If you want to learn more about this star, you should bring the vase to Ruby. Ruby's an antique dealer who likes moving a lot. She and Istar often work together. Istar dug this vase with Levy, some, somebody important to Ruby, even though she tries to hide it. She'll be pleased to have it back, trust me. Okay, so now I gotta go... That's free hands. Where's the next pay it forward? Oh, just right there. <clears throat> okay. To find Ruby in the Forbidden Plains. Maybe I'll make my way through it to help the rebels in Fornax storage once things calm down. Okay. Well, thank you, friends. That's the next step of this. Ooh, yes! Take a good look! Yes, please. Forsaken Eater. Invoke a gate that generates an impressive beam of light, obliterating everything in its path. Be cautious, as once invoked, this attack cannot be stopped. Undoubtedly, one of the most lethal chips in all of Elios, it earned its name for mirroring a monstrous entity that consumes every life form in its fat in it life form in its path after its attack. <clears throat> well, that's exciting. And there's my memento socket. Heals half of your vital energy over time without depleting vital containers. Half of your vital energy over time. Device worn by high-ranking officers of Dustborough as a badge of honor. Relic from before the fall. Very few are still active. This technology has lost its time. Pretty good. Increase the number of vital containers by one. And Salomon Alma's shop blueprint. Cool. Thank you. There's finally I got to spin my plaques. This place is a mess. Nothing ever goes right in this damn dump. Hey there, maybe I can help. What's wrong? I mean, aside from absolutely everything, the one I love is missing. That's what's wrong. During her last operation, her unit got caught in the Drake Dust Regimen. Those who die are the lucky ones. The reports state her unit's still alive, not lucky. Those Drake Dust demons took the whole unit to the Fornax storage, where they'll have to work to death, literally. I need to believe in her, like she believes in me. She's strong. Stronger than me, for sure. Oh, Ada, I hope you're still alive. Okay, if I was thinking that was gonna be a quest, but... Evidently not. I don't know if I can do anything by going all the way up there. God, this place goes far to the right. Jeez. Or to the, to the left, rather. Not right. <laughs> okay. Hi. More enemies to beat up. If I get another checkpoint, that would be kind of neat. And there's more fans in here. Okay. Oh, not another one of you. Oh, that did nothing to you. I'm better off just punching you. There we go. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is useful. I should have put on that, uh, that new chip I got. We'll put it on probably when I get back to the safe point. Because then we'll be able to, uh... 
upgraded as well. <clears throat> These little dorks are quite good. I like them a fair bit. Definitely one of the most useful things we've gotten. Oh, you're swapping, huh? That's cute of you. Uh-huh. Pop out again, I dare you. There you go. Okay, two more needed. And we are good. Oh, and then there's like little clearance gates. The spare community space? Cool. Another one of those. Not the most important, but it is something. And yeah, there are fans over here. Okay. Just can't do anything about that yet. <clears throat> Ooh. This is just straight up blocked. Um, well, let's get rid of that. I'm just gonna put a thing here saying, hey, that exists. All right, now let's use the return to safe. And get back over here. And then I wanna fast travel back home to Blightmoor. Phew, there we go. That's a pretty good amount of stuff done, and I even cleaned up a little bit of the map, because I had time to today, so... Nice, nice, nice. Let's go upgrade some things, why don't we? I'll swap the community space, too. Why not? Uh... Serene Fountain? Dust Burrow, Sentinel, Gloomy Burrows, Barrows, Athenaeum. I thought I got one for that place I was just at. Huh. Guess not. T-Nook? Enchanted Mycelium. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> that sounds cute. I do like some mushrooms. Alright, Sam and Alma shop. Am I- is this what I needed to have something to spend all of my money on? Because it's very much feeling like that. Because, uh, I bought a lot of stuff there. Okay, so you're still... Sold out. You, I can upgrade the vital auto modulator. Aha! Double edged locket. Reduces incoming damage, but you lose the ability to perform a vital scan recovery. What? You feel safe while wearing this locket, but can't shake the feeling that you forgot something. Another memento, another logic block. And the final tracking center blueprint, which gives me more of the things that uh, I can use to upgrade the teleports. And we're completely done again. <laughs> I've already upgraded your shop to the max level, I believe. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Alright. Well, now I go over here and upgrade this, and we're totally done again. Yep, the Forsaken Eater. And okay. Eater. Alright, well, that's, that's done. Yay. And now we have the max amount of teleports that I could possibly need. Can I change what's in here? Equal we'll Pier, Crystal Grove. Let's do this. I'm, I'm tired of looking at this one thing that's hanging out over here. Yeah, that thing. I think that's space three. Yes, it is space three, I believe. Let's give Gloomy Burrows. Or wait, is that what is that what I already have right now? I think that I think that's exactly what I had active right now. Um, breeze glass. Will that change what's right there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back to the breeze glass. Thank you. All right. Tracking center. So the next question is, do I get a reward for this at all? Because we have maxed it out. I mean, well, I'm imagining my reward is, you know, more of the things once I go talk to you. Look at that, you upgraded the tracking center all the way. It's amazing. Thanks, cutie. Here's complimentary save kits. Yay. Now I can probably possibly upgrade all of them. Cool. And now... Uh, there's my final three biomorphs I'm gonna be getting. We have two chips left. What is this thing like? No, not not over that. Not over that. Um, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Whoop. So you put it over that. 
Oh god, it takes so long to fire, though. It takes such a long time. I mean, it probably does do a lot of damage, but I'll roll with it because it's fun. So we'll see what it's like. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We have more memento slots. I have two more. Um, so I'm definitely taking off the studded rucksack. It's just not useful. Um, I do not like it. What else do we have, though? Increased plaques, heals half of your vital energy over time without depleting vital containers. That's just region, basically. Increase the vital container. Number of vital containers by one is pretty good. Increase maximum vital energy. Increases damage dealt when vital energy is low. Reduces incoming damage. Increases damage dealt when vital energy is full. Reduces the activation time. Number of charges. Automatically retrieved. Increased damage dealt. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously combat diskette would be very good. I'm gonna grab that for now. There's no two price thing we could... Actually, I can put that on. And magnet, I guess. Alright. We'll, we'll, we'll put that stuff on. Uh, I don't particularly feel the need to have, like, crazy amounts of extra healing or anything at the moment. I feel pretty strong, so... Alright! Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.